Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Coin Logic TV. I am your host, The Logical Dude. And in today's video, we are going to be expanding on our Trader for Beginners series. And we're going to be talking about how to use multiple moving averages on your chart at the same time and how they can help you predict trend changes, use it as support and resistance zones, that kind of thing. So if you like that kind of information, if you like having these indicators broken down in simple to easy to understand terms, make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel all that good stuff if you're on threespeak.tv we're looking for you to come and follow on coinlogic.online so check us out there without further ado let's jump right in to the charts and let's talk about using multiple moving averages here all right so what i've got here on the bitcoin chart is we are looking at the ema 2050 100 200 this is a community uh, script so you just go into your indicators and type in EMA. Remember, EMA, if you remember from our moving averages video, I'll put the link in the description below. But um, the EMA is an exponential moving average. It's a faster moving average than the simple moving average. Okay, so it uses a little more faster calculations, uh, more of the recent time frame. So it just gives you a little bit better movement with the markets. So I like this one here, the EMA 2050 100 200 by Dr. Sweets. Okay, so thank you, Dr. Sweets, for creating us a multiple moving average indicator. Because what it what what happens is, is if you've got the TradingView free account, you can only have three indicators plus volume. Okay, so if you're trying to use multiple moving averages, each moving average is going to count as an indicator. So you can't have you know something like an RSI or a you know MACD added to it as well. So if you use one of these community scripts that adds more things to the to one indicator, you're going to get better results. Okay, so taking a look here, we're actually on our five minute time frame right now. I want to show you how this works on short term and long term time frames. All right, so you have um, the red on this particular indicator. Your red line is the 20 period moving average. Your orange is the 50 period moving averages. So those are your faster moving averages. And then the blue is a 100 and the green is a 200 period moving average. Okay. So if you're on the daily time frame, those are going to be daily averages. But we're looking at the five minute short term time frame because you can use this for scalps really well. As uh, And I'm going to show you how I use it in my trading plan. So you can see the faster lines, the 20 here, it rides along the price pretty well. But the cool thing about using multiple moving averages is when the fast line crosses under or above the longer moving averages, that's indication of a trend change. Okay, so you can see here um, that when these moving averages all converged and crossed under the 200 moving average, you saw this major downtrend start to form and you had this big drop down. Okay. Same thing kind of happens when it crosses above. So when it, all these moving average cross above the longer moving averages, you're going to definitely be in an uptrend. So when you have all the moving averages over the, the longest moving average, then you're definitely in a strong uptrend. You're going to ride that until it crosses. Okay. Or, you know, ride it until it starts to change. So you can ride it up and you can use the 20 period. If it crosses over the 50, you could get out there and that could be a pretty good, you know, that'd be a really good return for you. Okay. So you can use them as support and resistance zones. So when price is finding these moving averages as support and resistance, um, that kind of thing. So there's different ways that you can, you know, just all in how you look at it here. I particularly like to use two moving averages in this scenario. And I so I'll come in here in the settings and I turn off the 20 and I turn off the 100. I like the 50 and the 200. The 50 is the fast. The 200 would be the long, slow moving average. It just get, it cleans up the noise and it gives you big trends. Um, so th when I'm looking long term, I will look, say, you know, four hour and I'll see what the trend is. So if we're in an uptrend, I'm definitely looking to go long. I come here to my shorter term time frames. And if that is still the case, then I will continue to ride those trends. But short term, you can also play shorts as well, you know, um, even in, like, say, a longer term uptrend kind of thing. Um, so it just all depends on the time period that you're trading on. And that really all depends on your personality, your trading style. If you like, to, you know, if you're a, if you're a gamer, if you're a video game person, 
take a look at the shorter term time frames. That might be more your stick. If you like, if you're more of a patient person, you know, you can do longer term swing trades because you have time to wait and you want those bigger swings, right? But, you know, that intraday stuff is that can get pretty crazy sometimes. So using these moving averages is a great way to be able to filter out a lot of this crazy noise that's happening in the markets and be able to figure out when the best time to buy or sell this. So in this point, like I would definitely go short and ride that thing down. You know, you can continue to ride it down until the price crosses back above or however you want to play that. You know, you can ride it until the moving average crosses back above the 200 and that could be a huge gain for you, you know? So let's just say, all right, let's take this uptrend, for example. If you would have gone in when this crossed, all right, you found your retest, all right, let's say you went in on this candle here. And let's say you rode this wave all the way until the 50 crossed back under the 200 and you got out on a five minute time frame. That's a long trade on a five minute time frame. You would have been riding that way for a while, but that would have gotten you 1.8%. Um, you know, if you're on a longer term time frame, you know, you're definitely going to be playing bigger percentages. So say if you're on a daily and you were to play the death cross here, okay, we'll say you would have gone short here and ride, rode that until it, well, it hadn't crossed yet, but if it did, you'd be making about 48%, you know. So you kind of get the idea on time frames, you know, using that. So, but yeah, you can use the same combination of moving averages across all of your different time frames to judge your to judge your trends and like i said the 50 and the 200 is kind of that golden pair um when you get the 50 crossing under the 200 that's called a death cross and when you get it crossing over that's called a golden cross so that'll generally signify pretty large trend changes so Something for you to look out for. It's definitely something for you to throw in your playbook and start testing around on your charts. You can certainly come up here and just play with a different combination of them. You can play with the 20 and the 50, you know, if you want to play really short stuff, you know, you can play the 20 and the 100 uh, if you want to go that route. If you don't like the other, you know, the other combinations, you got to figure out what works best for you because really all it is. It's just a way for you to make an informed decision on your trade to help you find the best places to buy and to sell Bitcoin or whatever asset it is that you're trading. Because if you're looking at it any other way, it's probably gambling and you really don't want to be like that. You want to be a smart business person. You want to make smart, informed business decisions because that's how you protect your money and that's how you grow your business. Because that's what this is. Trading is a business. So if this helps you out, Please, again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, because we've got all kinds of different nuggets of information coming for you in the future. So we're going to talk about how to pair up moving averages and use that with an RSI or with a MACD to help you find better confirmation in your trends. So we'll be getting into more of that later on. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't get wrecked out there in those crazy markets. Be smart, be safe, and let's make some money. Have a great one, guys.